All right, scholars, we are back again, and we are still talking about energy. Today, it gets real. Today, we get to understand that energy exists in many forms and that these forms can be observed in patterns. They do the same thing over and over and over and over again. Now, today's energy is really awesome. This is the energy most likely to get you in trouble during class. It's the energy that, for many of you, is your absolute favorite energy. It's the energy that we use more than anything, the energy that is responsible for the production of these videos. Today's energy that we will be talking about, I hope you get excited, drum roll. Today's energy gave us the ability to do the drum roll. Oh my goodness, today's energy is sound energy. Oh my goodness, and how is sound produced? You're gonna love this, you're gonna love this. I love it, we love it together. Sound energy is actually produced by vibrations. Yes, it's produced by vibrations, and I can prove it. So here's what I want you to do. Take two fingers and do exactly what I do. You have to do it like I do it, so don't do it like you do it. Do it like I do it, because if you don't do it like I do it, I'm gonna call you out on it, okay? You agree? Okay, good, because I agree too. Two fingers, and we're gonna stick them right on your throat, and then, when my hand goes up, we're gonna make a high opera-like sound, like oh, that means stop. When my hand goes down, we're gonna make like a low opera sound, like oh, oh. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, two fingers, hand on your throat, and I want you to observe what do you feel? What do you feel as this is going on? When we go high, when we go low, when we go high, when we go low, like what do you feel? You tell me what you feel. You ready? Two fingers on the throat. And one, two, and three. Oh my goodness, did you feel it? Your fingers were vibrating, yes. We use vibration in order to speak. Everything that we speak out is actually a vibration. It's really cool. The reason our ears are shaped the way they are is they're perfectly conditioned to be able to catch the vibrating waves that are flying throughout the air. That's another reason why when we go to space, there would be nothing out there. There's no community because there's no air for the sound to travel through. I know it's absolutely crazy. And today we're going to use one of my favorite tools to demonstrate this vibration. This is a tuning fork. And what you're going to notice is that tuning forks are different sizes. We have a short one and we have a longer one. Tuning forks vibrate and they vibrate at different frequencies based on the length. And I can prove it. Are you ready? We're gonna do these together. I'm gonna to do the short one first and I want you to listen and tell me what you hear. Okay, now we're gonna try the long one. Tell me what you hear. All right, did you notice that the longer one had a higher pitch than the shorter one. They are vibrating at different frequencies and therefore they produce different pitches of sound. And tuning forks are so cool because we can use them to prove that things are vibrating in really cool ways. One way is this is just a cup with a, what is that on there? A coffee filter, right? A cup with a coffee filter. And we're gonna take a tuning fork and I'm gonna hit the tuning fork. And then I'm gonna see what the little radish beans on the top do because those are like little bitty radish beans. And I'm gonna to try to do this in a way, I'm gonna to have to do this like really, really, really. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna prove that sound is vibrating. It is caused by vibrations and we can evidence and prove these vibrations and these radish seeds are going to help us to do that. Are we ready? Three, two, one. I'm gonna do it again. Here we go. Do you see them flying everywhere? How is this possible? As my tuning fork is vibrating, that vibration is passed to, it's passed to 
the filter and then the radish beans start jumping all over the place. And if you were here, I could stick this against your face and you would feel it whenever it touches you because it feels kind of funny whenever it vibrates on your face. Now here's the cool one. When you've really got this vibration down, now if you're in school and you have a tuning fork, you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. Okay, get your teacher and ask your teacher if they can help you to prove that vibrations are linked to sound energy, that sound energy is caused by vibrations. And when they say yes, because they're gonna say yes, because they are amazing educators. Why don't you get a cup with some water? And I want you to ask them if they would be willing to stick their nose right at the edge of the water. And then you're gonna get this tuning fork. And I need you to come in directly at the angle like this, okay? Needs to be at a proper angle. And don't touch the cup because if you touch the cup, it might mess it up. And then when you hit it, here's what's going to happen. This tuning fork is going to prove to your teacher and to yourself that sound is called by vibrations. Are you ready? I'm going to demonstrate for you. I want you to see what's going to happen. Are you ready? Are you ready? I know you're ready because I'm ready too. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. And my glasses have proved that sound is definitely caused by vibrations because for some reason, it shoots the water out into my eye. Absolutely, everybody will laugh, it will be amazing, and you will have proved a scientific concept that vibrations are what causes sound energy, the energy most likely to not get us our E on our behavior report today. We're gonna use sound energy responsibly. We're gonna use that in conversations. We're gonna use that to help us to grow as scientists. We're going to use it to help us to express our ideas because sound energy is amazing, but it's not as amazing as you are. You guys are amazing scientists. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to find a way to prove that sound energy is created by vibrations. And I'm not gonna give you any hints about how you might be able to do that. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna show you because if I did, I'd be giving it away. And I want you to write that out in like a paragraph or a sentence explaining how you know that sound energy is created by vibrations. Amazing scientists, have an amazing day and we will be back on with more amazing science very, very soon. I know you want me to do it. Yes, I'm gonna hit the tuning fork one more time. Why? because tuning forks are cool and every episode of everything should end with a random tuning fork. Have a nice day. <laughs>